So today, All right, Rebecca, what do we do today? So today we took our ROV out on the Noah's Shear Water and um, went out to Santa Rosa Island where we picked up high school students from Channel Islands High School and uh, took them out into Betcher's Bay and got to show them um, how an ROV operates and the types of uses that it can be put to in observing the kelp out there. And did the ROV work totally well every single time? Of course <laughs> not. <laughs> So what happened the first time? The challenges of the being challenges a scientist. The challenges of field science. Um, so the first time, the current was like sweeping it away, and um, then it ended up um, having to get pulled back in a couple times, and then we finally got out there, we got some visual, and then we thought, everything's great, hunky-dory, and bam, we find out that it's like stuck to the bottom of the boat somewhere, so we had to cut the line. The tether, get the back. tether. The tether, the tether was, yeah. And um, so then everybody comes together, we solder the wires, we shrink wrap it, we get everything waterproof, we set it out there again for the second group of high school students, and there's always something that comes up. <laughs> <laughs> and then the tether came back without the ROV. It detethered. It detethered. And there's our ROV. Luckily, though, it is positively buoyant. Great design. Great. Right? and is floating in the water and um dr anderson of course had it spotted had his finger on it kept his eye on ah, it what a great guy that dude is he really is <laughs> spectacular so we didn't lose it we were able to get the anchor pulled the boat pulled around and um i was given a net and we swooped it up got it back <laughs> out of the water and it's going to be survived again for another day so once again Multiple heart. You survived everything. You resoldered the broken one first. You recovered the lost one. Good job, Rebecca. <laughs> Thanks.